welcome back to my channel it's Laylee here and if you want to make this makeup look just keep watching so let's start with moisturizing the skin lately my acne has been very very bad so sorry for that and recently I love using the Siva matte, matte finishing cream for the under eye area I'm using the Balea eye cream from DM drugstore For the lips, I'm using the La Roche Posay Lip Balm because this one gives ton of moisture and my lips get smooth and kissable. For the makeup, I always love to start with the eyes because the face makeup doesn't get messy at the end. So for this look, I'm using the MAC Paint Pot Painterly as a base. Then I love using the Hula Bronzer from Benefit as a base eyeshadow. The first color I'm using is the Drift by Colourpop on the crease. I started using Colourpop eyeshadow and I love them. They are so pigmented and they blend very very well as you can see. To give it a little smoky eye effect, I'm using the Barbado shade from the Illuminate palette by Ashley Tisdale. It's like a brownish dark color so good for... Then I'm using the Bordeaux shadow also by Colourpop and I'm putting it all over the lid. To darken the crease a bit more, I'm using the Paradox again by Colourpop. To blend all the colors, I'm using the Seychelle eyeshadow again by the Illuminate palette. So it doesn't show off the lines and I continue blending until I'm satisfied. Yeah. Then to highlight the inner corner and under the brow, I'm using my favorite highlighter from the Carly Bible palette. Then I'm using again Barbados to touch the crease again and to line up the lower lashes. <laughs> Moving on to the skin, today I'm using the Nivea aftershave as a primer and yes guys, it really works and I don't want anything else now. For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline New York, the Fit Me Matte and Pearless in the shade 020. It covers up very well and it stays all day. To cover up my pimples, I'm using today the Estee Lauder Camouflage Foundation. Actually, I could skip this step because in the video it doesn't look as I expect it to look, but anyway. For concealer, I'm mixing the Maybelline New York Anti-Aging Concealer and the Cover Up by MAC. I do it because the Maybelline one covers up my dark circles very well and the MAC one highlights my under eye area, so that's why I'm mixing both together. For baking recently I'm using the baby powder by Johnson's and it really works. I was very skeptical at, at the beginning but it actually is a cheaper alternative for setting powder. Then I'm contouring my face with the Hula bronzer, my favorite one. Highlighting my eyes with a beige eye pencil. This one's by Sephora. Now I'm curling my lashes and putting my favorite mascara by Maybelline New York. For my brows, I'm using a chocolate brown color brow pencil by Essence. Make Me Brow Brow Gel also by Essence and this one is a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel and I really love this one. As highlighter I'm using 
the sleek highlighter palette. It's actually the first time I'm using it and I love the finished look. And last but not least, I'm using the MAC Edge to Edge Lip Liner by MAC and on top of that, the matte lipstick by NYX, the color Berlin. guys i hope you liked the video give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated and follow me on the social media thanks for watching and i hope seeing you on my next video bye oh and stay tuned for the bloopers If you want to, if you want to be. <laughs>